Hello and welcome to the 27th tutorial in the JavaScript basic series and in this tutorial we're going to look at reserved keywords. In this tutorial we're not going to be really using any base coding though I'm going to be using tutorial 2 doesn't matter if you don't have it, you don't even need to do any coding for this just just watch what I'm doing and what I'm talking about so there'll be no links in the description for any source code. So reserved keywords, what are they? They're basically keywords that JavaScript is using so they're reserved and you shouldn't name any variables or functions with those names. So let's just open up a text editor and just open up a JavaScript file. So name.js and alert is a reserved keyword. We've got var, it stands for variable. And we have if, we have for, we've got while. What else do we have? There is obviously this catch. Um, there's a ray. Basically, you just don't want to create variables and functions with those names because JavaScript has built in functionality with those names. Because otherwise, how does it know what to do when are you typing alert? It knows because it has built in functionality. And if I just simply go into a web browser, if you want to know some more, just go into W3 School website. Go into the JavaScript, go into reserved keywords, and if you have a look, it's got a list of all the keywords that can't be used with variables, labels, or function name. Also, there's some Windows reserved words. So, yeah, there's quite a lot here. Generally, you're probably not going to have any issues. I can't see you naming a variable debugger or function or enum or false or in. Probably name me something a bit better like username, user age, stuff like that. But it's just to be aware of reserved keywords. All languages will have reserved keywords of some sort. And they won't allow you to create, obviously, variables and functions with those names, otherwise you'll get conflicts. The next tutorial, and actually final tutorial, we're gonna cover commenting. Like I said, there'll be no links in the description to any source code. If you have any questions, feel free to message us and as usual, thanks for watching.